Hello, my friends. The Stations of the Cross is one way that we walk with Jesus on his journey towards the cross. At Trinity, we're going to be doing a Social Justice Stations of the Cross later in Lent as we get into Holy Week. We're going to have a video where people can view that, and we're hoping, but we don't have that permission yet, uh, to be able to have people in the cathedral to see it in person. But until uh, we're, our churches throughout the ch Diocese of Ohio are able to do that, uh, we won't be able to make that commitment yet. So now we're planning for the video, and we remain hopeful that, that we may be able to do more. Hello, my friends. It's early in the season of Lent, and Lent is a journey. It's a journey as we walk alongside Jesus, uh, as we approach the cross with him. But we're also in the midst of a wider journey, this journey of, of navigating the pandemic and the disruption that has changed so much of our world, so changed so many of our lives. It's actually, though, it points to the wider journey of our whole lives and, and of the story of our walk with God and our walk with one another that takes us all through our lives. Well, there's a way that the church for many centuries has, has ritualized, captured, observed, made incarnate what this journey is. And it's called the Stations of the Cross, where we walk alongside Jesus, carrying the cross uh, on the day leading up to his, his crucifixion. And what we're going to do, this is going to have a theme. Uh, it's, a, it's a Stations of the Cross centered on social justice, specifically around the ministries of Trinity Cathedral. And Adrian Cook, uh, our priest associate, who you know well, is with me today. For the well, welcome, Adrian. And I'm really glad that we can talk about uh, the Stations of the Cross that we're going to be offering. Uh, tell me just a little bit about how the project came together. Sure. Um, so Sandy Luther uh, came to me with the idea of working with her advocacy group in the area um, that um, highlights human trafficking cases. And she asked, um, is there any way we could do something with this in the Stations of the Cross at Trinity? And, and um, it, as, I, as I brought that idea to mind and thought about all the different social justice groups we had, um, I invited her to, to think about maybe offering this up to the whole cathedral and seeing if other people were interested. And indeed, when we brought it to Cathedral Council, other people were. And um, we have about 12 groups um, organized over 14 Stations of the Cross that are all in some ways being asked to um, bring out the inward significance of their social justice work through the outward imagery of, of the classical Stations of the Cross. And so that's that journey from of Christ's uh, final days with us. Um, and it's meant to be deeply meditative, which is something that I think we're not always used to doing when we think about um, activism work. So it's an invitation of like con contemplative and, and active uh, in our spirituality, which I'm pretty excited about. I've, I've seen it, experienced Stations of the Cross in a great many Episcopal churches. Uh, I, I Some folks have said, is this something that we, is simply a remnant of uh, something you see in Roman Catholic churches. And and to that, I would say it's been very much a part of our tradition for a long time. Mm -hmm. And and to me, it's part of an embodied prayer. It's very much like the liturgy, the Sunday liturgy itself, which is at its best when we're able to be up and moving around and coming forward for communion, because that in itself is a kind of journey. Mm -hmm. And so when can we experience this? That's a great question. And how? Yeah going to offer an online um, video tour of the Stations of the Cross, each of the groups that have offered a visual representation of the station um, have also said a few words about its meaning. And so we'll create a video um, production and you can join us for Holy Week to walk the stations. Great. Well, I'm so grateful for this and for the people. I know you've been working hard and a number of people from Cathedral Council and the ministries themselves have been really working really hard to create this. So, so I'm looking forward to it and I'm, I hope it will be a, an important part of our, of our Holy Week devotion together. Adrian, thank you so much for being, uh, being a part of this. Thanks for asking, BJ. <laughs> All right. Blessings to each and every one of you. And thank you so much for being a part of this.